What's up guys, Tyler Mitchell here with McGill Trails out of Colorado. Uh, I think the biggest thing with the wizard was, you know, talking with Max and uh, the clientele that he's got here, uh, wanting to be challenged more. Uh, we really wanted to introduce a lot of high speed and technical aspects to this trail uh, and a lot of fun, of course, and the creativity and artistry and stuff from Seth and Backyard Trails has been awesome working with him. Uh, he's, uh, he's got some good ideas and really good attention to detail. Um, we really wanted to bring, yeah, that high speed technical aspect, a little bit of rawness as well with those North Shore style features, but with a new school freestyle kind of attitude. Uh, and it's been a ride for sure. <laughs> so my vision for this trail was I didn't have one. There's not a vision. Uh, I came out here actually with zero, no, I, they, they wouldn't tell me what I was building. Um, McGill insisted on not saying anything to even the Howler owners, Max and John. I came out the day of, and that's when I found out what I was building. Um, there was no vision. <laughs> it was just like, you arrive and then, okay, hey, you're gonna build this insane thing over a creek that we found. Um, and that's what we did. <laughs> we just built a big old creek gap thing. And then from there, then we started to visualize together. I think at first they just wanted to like, surprise me with something <laughs> that was gonna make me. Uh, I will say the vision was, it was gonna be a blue trail. Was, everything was gonna be easy and small and not that complicated. And then, uh, you know, a day or two in, all of a sudden everything is now more complicated and more big than I've built here so far. So. Um, things changed and I realized that you don't want to plan when it comes with working with McGill. You just roll, roll with it. Seth from Backyard Trails come out and uh, do some pretty cool wood features and woodwork with us, uh, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, the vision behind that was basically just something that has that free ride feel with a lot of drops, some big jumps, and then some gap options that are uh, pretty cool. So kind of uh, test your nerves a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think it's great to I think we're bringing something that's a little bit more unique to this area um, than other biking um, public parks or even private parks. I think this is going to be a little bit of a different flavor than um, you're used to riding in Bentonville. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's going to be a little bit of a, an addition to the area and maybe enhance the riding experience in southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. <laughs> Working with McGill has been Perfect. It's been awesome. They they work so hard. They you know reserve talking for after hours, and when we're working, we're working. Like they have their vision, and it's just great. They just work so fluidly with each other. It's like I've never seen a group of individuals work so well together. Like they all have their individual parts that they fill and they all get it done. And if I'm honest, when I first got out here, I was pretty nervous coming to work with them because I'd gotten a glimpse of their work ethic before I'd left last year. And it was like, oh no, like how am I going to like work at their pace? I'm kind of slow. I gotta like digest things slowly. <laughs> and they just like get stuff done so fast with such perfection that it's a bit intimidating. But if I do say so myself, I feel like we started getting the groove going and like they realized like how I worked and I felt how they worked and we started like really meshing super well. And I am very, very excited to come back and work with them again if they'll have me. So. <laughs> Building here in Missouri, uh, it's beautiful landscapes, beautiful trees very challenging at times that's for sure uh you know you run into a lot of unforeseen type terrain with the bedrock and uh and springs popping up everywhere uh, especially when we were here earlier in the winter um, it's not always easy but it's always something new and something challenging and something to work around and i think we tried really hard to uh, deal with those challenges, but also keep the trail ride quality 
as, as good as we possibly could um, with the terrain that we were given. Yeah, as we uh, wrap up our trip this year, we've been here since January, so about four months, and it's been a really good time. We can't wait to get back probably this fall and start working on some of the ideas that we've been brewing up for the future here at Howler. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of other peaks to work on. We still want to tap into more of the first peak that we've been working on and that you guys have been riding. Uh, so you'll see more there as well as the other peaks. Uh, everything from blue to black to technical to flow to dual slalom. So we're excited to, to show you guys what we come up with for that stuff and for you guys to come and enjoy it. Thank you.